mono hybrid cross according to mendel's experiment he did many crosses between big plants sometimes he took only one character sometimes he took two characters sometimes he took more than two characters if we are taking only one character only one character is considered and uh, what results can be taken from this cross is written and observation is made then that is called monohybrid cross monohybrid cross can be defined this way the cross between two organisms with regard to only one character is called monohybrid cross and when you saw one of the mendel's experiment monohybrid cross in this experiment what he did he took a tall pea plant pure tall pea plant and he crossed with pure dwarf pea plant how he crossed surely the flower of dwarf pea plant its petal is if opened its stamen is removed and pollen grains of the tall pea plant is transferred to the stigma of the dwarf pea plant and its flower is closed then what happens now this is called cross pollination and after this cross pollination flower dries out and pea pod appears P pod develops like this, and P seed develops inside the P plot this way. And he did this. What he did? He took pure tall pea plant, and his genotype is capital T, capital T, representing both the gene is of uh, tallness. And he took pure dwarf pea plant this way, and he cross pollinated these two pea plant and. What seed he got, this pod with seeds, he used that seed in another field. And, when, and uh, he saw the first generation. Now, what grows the pea plant is called first generation. And what he found, all the pea plant appeared tall. Now, character of being dwarfness is disappearing. All the pea plant appeared tall. Then he confused at that time. He was confused at that time. And he was thinking about the character of being dwarfness. Then what he did? He did the self pollination in those tall pea plant of first generation. Look at this. In first generation, he found tall pea plant and he self pollinated them. He allowed them to go through self pollination means uh, they have closed flower and the pollen grains of the same flower reaches to the stigma of the same flower it means now self-pollination occurs and after self-pollination again flower dries out and instead of flower in a, a pea pod appears in every flower in place of every flower and pea pod has got certain pieces and he collected the pieces again and he used this these pieces in another part of it now what he found in second generation, all the pea plants are not tall. Out of every four pea plant, one is found dwarf. It means 75% was found tall, 25% was found dwarf. Now it can be represented, it means this uh, second generation he found both the tall and dwarf. It means in first generation, the plant which, which was tall was not pure tall it must have this type of gene. This genotypically, it has a character of being tallness also, darkness also. And self-pollinated, self-pollinated means we are taking two uh, set of genes. And this is self-pollination process. And when self-pollinated, what I told just now, he found out of four, three is tall. 75% is tall, 25% is dwarf. It means, he told that phenotype, phenotype means external appearance of an organism with regard to one or more character is called phenotype. Phenotypically, phenotype, P-H-E-N-O-T-Y-P, -E -E. phenotype is phenotypically, we can say phenotypic, phenotypic ratio he found, phenotypic ratio he found 3 is to 1, it means tall is to dwarf is 3 is to 1. And he further checked third generation also. Out of 75% of the tall, are all they all they produce tall or they produce dwarf also? 
He checked third generation also and what he found out of 75%, 25% gives only top and 50% gives top and drop both. It means out of 75% I am adding 75% out of 75% 25% gives only top means his gene must be like this pure top and remaining 50% of the top gives both tall and dwarf pea plant it means his gene must be this type heterozygous gene and this is also heterozygous gene and 25% which were dwarf gave only dwarf what it means his gene must be like this pure dwarf this is homozygous tom pure tom these are heterozygous tom in appearance tom but genetically it is not tom this is called hybrid term and this is pure graph. Here we have three different types of gene. Capital D, capital D, capital D, small t, and small d, small t. And he declared that in second generation, phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1, tall is to 2, but genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1. What it means? 1 is to 2 is to 1. In bracket, we can write pure tall is to hybrid tall is to pure graph. Pure tall is one part, hybrid tall is two part, and pure drop is one part. That's why we can declare that in second generation, phenotypic ratio is three is to one, tall is to drop, and genotypic ratio is one is to two is to one. Pure tall is to hybrid tall is to pure drop. This was.